this video, we will thoroughly explore the panel loops function, which allows us to divide our 3D model into sections, each with its own customizable thickness. This function is somewhat similar to the extract function that we fully discussed in the subtool tutorial. However, the panel loops provide enhanced control over the final results. We can find the panel loops function in the geometry subpalette located within the tool menu, under the subitem edge loop. To effectively apply this function, we create a polygroup on our object. And then, simply activate the panel loops button. As we can see, this function can only be applied to objects that do not have polygonal subdivision levels. This means we need to delete either the higher levels or the lower levels of our 3D model to achieve the desired result. We can now activate the panel loops function, which clearly shows that new geometry has been successfully created, featuring a thickness that we can still manually adjust. This new geometry corresponds to the specific shape of our defined polygroup exactly. If we hold down the control and shift keys and then click on this object with the left mouse button, we isolate the generated polygroup. To reveal the remaining geometry, we need to hold down both the control and shift keys and then click on the A button. The panel loops function has effectively transformed our defined polygroup into an entirely new object. When we invert the isolation, we can see that the remaining part of our sphere also has a closed object mesh structure. To adjust the thickness, we can use the thickness slider located here. First, we undo the previous calculation. Then set the desired thickness and allow it to recalculate. With the double button, we specify whether our object should be created as double-sided. Using the loop slider, we set the loops created between the two sides, specifically in the space that defines the thickness. For example, if we have an object with multiple polygroups on its surface and an open area, we can instruct the calculation to completely ignore the polygroups and then assign thickness to the entire object without cutting it. We achieve this by selecting the Ignore Groups option. If we isolate a polygroup and then click on Panel Loops, it will generate a completely new and distinct object from the polygroup while keeping all the other hidden objects intact, remain unchanged. As we move the created object with the transformation tools, we quickly observe that a hole has formed in that position. If this is not what we intended, we will use a different approach. Let's repeat the process. And when converting, we will click on Append, which means to add. With Append, no cut is made, which allows the software to create only a new object on the surface. Let's take a quick and brief look at the Polish slider. As we can clearly see, all generated objects receive a nice smoothing along the edges. By using the Polish slider, we can adjust the intensity of the smoothing. The higher the value, the smoother the results will be. In the next video, we will explore MicroMesh.